Hey guys. Hey guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. We have a super special surprise to show you. Green Stock sent us these two beautiful green stocks we're gonna set up for you guys today. They sent us one of the original and one of the leaf planters, but we wanted to get these set up for you guys. What are we planting in these? I was just gonna say, I'm so excited because I've seen these everywhere and we don't have any. And Green Stock was so sweet and sent these to us. We worked with Tom and Brooke, so thank you guys. We're gonna do two fun plantings. One of them, I wanna try solid straw strawberries and then I want to do a really fun one with flowers. Let's get them somewhat set up, okay. unbox them, and then we can show you a little bit more yes. about them. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you guys the difference between the original planter and the leaf planter. So this one again is the original in the color stone. It's kind of a tannish gray. And then this one right here is the leaf planter in the color green. As you can see right here, look at the pockets and the difference. So this one comes with seven tiers because the pockets are shorter. And then this one comes with five. And there are just a little difference. Once once they're all set up, there's just an inch or two of difference in terms of total height. And we're choosing the leaf planter for the strawberries because strawberries are shallow rooted. Yep. Is that the right word? Rooted? Shallow rooted. So they'll be better with the smaller base. And I did want to show you guys, you can purchase the bases separately if you wish. This one right here is the mover base, or sorry, not the mover, but the spinner base. You can opt to have wheels on this one as well. But right here, essentially, it just spins. So the nice thing about this one is if you have it on a patio, and let's say you don't get full sun 360 mm -hmm. around the planter. Or a balcony. Or a balcony or something like that that's more shaded. You can move the whole tower around, and I'll show you that when we that's place fun. it. And that way, you can assure that all the plants get sun. I did want to mention that the mover bases right here have the little hole. And this is where the tube attaches to just like that and then you can point this in the direction that you want so that all the water will collect in here and then point you know just to not make a mess so holly bought some bare root strawberries so we're going to plant these as bare roots i think you got like 50 of them yep they are monterey which here in south carolina we are learning more and more about strawberries that they need to be able to take the heat and the humidity so the two ever bearing for the south or high humidity high heat are Monterey and Albion, and I had a hard time getting um, them, so I'm so thankful we have them. Yes, so in terms of soil, each tier right here will take just about a cubic foot of soil, which is one bag. In terms of what type of soil you wanna use, we're using a Spoma potting mix, organic potting mix. We're able to get this from a wholesaler. We sell it locally here at our online nursery, setapartfarmandgardens.com. So if you are local, you can get it through us. We have them. And then also we got all the spelma, like biotone and everything like that. But the main thing that you want to make sure of is that to not use like a raised bed soil, to not use something that's heavy in top compost soil. or um, topsoil. Fox Farms also has, which is what um, Greenstock recommends. Mm -hmm. uh, Fox Farms is a great soil as well. And then there's others, good potting mixes. I do like to use organic because we are you know, gonna eat these strawberries. So <laughs> anyway, just try to find what's available for you guys. But again, one cubic foot per tier. So the main thing you wanna make sure of when you fill this up with soil, you can see right here, it says fill to top on each little pocket. You do wanna make sure that you fill this, like it says, all the way to the tippity top. So I'd say that's pretty close to the top. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some Biotone starter fertilizer. The reason we wanna add this one as opposed to others is because it is a starter fertilizer. It has mycorrhiza and lots of things that help for root development in a starter plant. It's a huge bag. And since we're starting with bare root plants, it's really nice to be able to get those roots going with a good starter fertilizer. There's the bare root strawberry. So we got six pockets. We're going to plant one in each. We're going to go ahead and show you how to plant the first one. And then we're just going to fast forward and get every single other tier filled up real quick. So again, this is what a bare root looks like, whether it's strawberries or even bare root plants in general. Right here, if you see where the green starts of that plant right here, this is where what's called the crown. You don't want to bury the crown because that will encourage rotting of the strawberry plant. You do want to bury these bare roots right at that crown level. So when I am burying this, I'm gonna make a little hole first. I'm gonna put it in and I am gonna kind of point this outward a little bit. That way the strawberry plants can kind of spill over a little bit because what we're gonna do is plant this, stack the second layer, so on and so forth. We're 
we're going to go ahead and add this piece right here, which is the watering element. Notice how there's quite a bit of soil in the middle here. I'm actually going to scoop away a little bit of that soil, more so into the pockets, because sometimes it can be a little hard to get this nestled in. So I'm just going to kind of tuck soil away from this right here and then nestle that in. And then again, the last portion is to just make sure that those holes, these six holes right here, line up with each pocket because when the water flows into this, it will fill up and it will, like a drip system almost, it'll drip, drip, drip into this pocket right there. So that's essentially it. One pocket is done. We're just gonna go ahead and do the rest of them, which is six, stack it up, and this is done. We'll show you, we have a little bit of construction in the background because we are adding new gravel and amazing landscape fabric. So that's a little project going on in the back. So now I wanted to show you guys how these interlock. So essentially, make sure that these pieces right here line up with this right here, the indent that you see, and then just kind of snug them in right here. That actually went in pretty easy. Some of these, I do have to pull a little bit because the plastic's flexible in order to fit it in. Pull this one back just a little bit, and then just make sure every single one is snug. So nice it turns. <laughs> yeah, and this base, again, it turns, so you can kind of do that, and it turns really easily. So that's great. Right now, if I move it a little bit, it feels like it's going to fall off just a bit, and not fall off like tip, but it's just not as snug. Once I add the soil, that's gonna be the weight that will anchor this down. And can you imagine once I add every tier with soil and these are water and wet, it really does add some weight to these. So in terms of wind and in terms of having these be really sturdy, they're really sturdy. And now you can see a little pocket of strawberry. Doesn't that look fun? Okay guys, we got all seven tiers on. If you can see, it's starting to lean a little bit. And that's because the more weight we added with soil, the gravel underneath started to move. So I'm gonna tilt this back, get a little rock underneath. I'll show you that in a second. But before we do that, I just wanted to go ahead and show you the top layer, which is the watering layer right here. And you can see how that kind of snaps on every single one. If I turn it around here, the spinner base, you can see it's not quite catching. So you do wanna make sure that every one right there is catching just like that and now it's all essentially done you can go ahead this does not come with a lid sometimes people ask if there's a lid that comes because you're watering this every day like this it doesn't automatically come with a lid they do have an automated irrigation or watering system that you can purchase separately and it does come with the lid and you can also buy the lid separately. I believe we do have the watering system on our website that comes with the lid, but the lid separately, I don't think we have that on the website, on our website yet. So anyway, just wanted to give you that info there. We're gonna go ahead and get this straightened up a little bit and then we can show you how we water it. So the first time that you water it, you do want to water every pocket first, just to ensure that all that soil is moist. A lot of these soils do contain peat moss as well and peat moss absorbs water better once it's somewhat wet. Otherwise it becomes hydrophobic. So just gonna water every pocket first. The nice thing is with the spinner base, you don't have to move. You can just keep spinning them. Okay, so now for your regular everyday watering, you're just gonna go ahead and fill this up until the fill line and you're all set. I do wanna say at this stage, you can also add any water soluble or liquid fertilizer up here too, if you wanna fertilize your plants. So I did want to show you again the base. You can put the tube in so that it can, you can get the water to point wherever you want it to. And then these are the wheels, and this is how the wheels come. So essentially the wheels, you just place them in one like that, one at a time. And there is a total of six wheels just like that. And then you would place your tiers right on top of this. Again, I have this one on the spinner base. And then right here, you can see the size difference between these two. Right now, this one's gonna be just a tad bit taller because it is on a base, but when it's on the base, it's just about the same height as this one without the base, which I would say is about a two inch height difference, so not really something noticeable. This one here is gonna have 42 pockets, and I believe this one here has 36. Again, this one is the original. You can see the 10 inch deep pockets. So in this one, you're gonna be able to grow 
deeper rooted veggies. So you can even grow zucchini. It'd be fun to try carrots in these because, you know, just like the shorter variety of carrots um, that will do just fine in something like this. You can do dwarf sized tomatoes, a bunch of different things. Like herbs honestly don't even require that much uh, depth. You can probably grow. I love to challenge and grow zucchini and a whole bunch of different things, but we're going to grow supertunias because one, they need a lot of food and root space. And it'd be nice because up here we can put water soluble fertilizer and just let it kind of drip through. And it's just going to, you won't even see the shape of it anymore. So look out for the flower tower video. We're going to post that in a separate video because one, we're running out of light. Two, we actually ran out of soil. So we're going to have to pot them up separately. And this one is going to go by our back patio area. This one's going to stay here in the garden um, just because we want the beauty of the flowers there. And we want to keep all the veggies here slash fruit. So yes, thank you so much to Greenstock for sending. We are so, so yes. grateful. So grateful and so excited for them. Thank you for sending these out and hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. Yes. Again, just a reminder, we do have 15% off at the moment, if you see this video in the future, I'm not sure if it'll be on there, but at the moment we have 15% off of these, including the basket weave ones. So if you want to get some of those, set apart farm and gardens, shipnow.com. I'll put the link below. Again, we are an online nursery, so we carry proven winners annuals, perennials, and we ship a few other different types of plants. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video yeah. and we'll see you on the next one. And we will give you updates. We're so excited. Thanks. Bye. Bye. First, before we open, fully open, um, we did take a peek and look at them and they come with an envelope, which is awesome. We had two envelopes and I got it mixed up and Luca had some fun looking at this. So it comes with this awesome brochure all about the green stock, how to fill it, how to set it up, what you can grow in it. Wonderful, wonderful yes. brochure. And then it has a sweet thank you card. It has more information of how to learn more online. I thought the funnest part, they send seeds. So these are gourmet blend lettuce. How fun is that? And probably the other favorite part, Luke and I had so much fun, which he's waiting for these because I said we have to show everyone first. Look at these adorable stickers. They are so cute. They are like the best quality ever. I love them. So, so cute. So Luca gets these when we're done. Um, <laughs> that's a fun strawberry jam one. Here you go, bud. I know you're excited. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. He's being our cameraman right now. And then even an awesome picture of who shipped this and sent that. How cool is that? It's like who a Polaroid. It? Thank you, Dustin M, shipping manager. Thanks, Dustin, <laughs> for shipping our order. So I just or love, packing it. <laughs> I, <laughs> I just love um, the thought behind all of this that they send a little goodie package with that. And I believe everyone that orders gets that. Yeah. And then we had a thank you from Tom who sent that out. It was really sweet of him. So thank you guys. I know Sebastian's excited to show you the actual tower. So. Mm -hmm.